be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this vlog. Um, today is going to be pretty much like a day in the life. Uh, today is Tuesday, November 22nd. Y'all, I'll be so proud of myself when I keep up with the actual date. It is so hard to keep up with the date. I'll be struggling. So today is the 22nd um, and it is 9.35 in the morning. I've been up since 7.00. And so far today, it's been a it's been a good start to the day. I worked out. Um, I got my tea. I'm drinking some elderberry tea, y'all. This is so good. Elderberry tea. Got my laptop sitting with me in the bed, getting some work done. Um. So what I'm thinking I want to do today? I need to go cook something to eat in a minute. I'm not sure what I want to eat, but I'm a, I need to cook. Um. I want to show y'all my new skincare routine. So I got a bunch of products. Um. The other day I did like in this like unboxing or whatever if you saw that if you saw the last day in the life vlog you know what i'm talking about i had a bunch of beauty products that my mom picked up from this conference and it's a couple things that i've actually incorporated into my skincare routine so i want to show you all my new skincare routine um i need to go to honey baked ham to pick up the ham that i'm taking to step in tasha's house and then i just gotta like i'm the kind of person especially these days once i'm out i'm trying to take care of everything like i'm not trying to put anything off until tomorrow so I need to go to Honey Baked Ham and I need to go to the store um, to grab some things to get ready for my honey coming into town. She'll be here tomorrow night. So I need to grab some things um, for our hotel, like snacks and stuff. So I need to do that. And I, I don't know. I think that's it. We'll see. But again, whatever I got going on, I'll bring y'all along with me. So um, first thing is... The skincare routine. Like, I washed my face this morning, but um, I need to actually, like, you know, go through my whole routine because my face look, it look dry right now. So, I'm going to go through the skincare routine and then make something to eat after that. All right. So, it is time to make some food. It's 1230. My stomach is growling. It's time. Like, <laughs> a lot of time went by. A couple hours went by. I think when I started this video, it was like nine or 10 o'clock, but I had like, I was at my computer working and stuff. So anyways, um, I was going to make some bacon, a fried egg and sweet potato, but then I didn't want to peel the sweet potato. So I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich instead. I'm going to do sourdough bread, um, with the bacon and the fried egg. And then I also realized I'm going to shoot a mukbang. Now I didn't think I was doing a mukbang today, but why not? Um, there's something I've actually been wanting to talk about. And I feel good about talking about it today. So I feel like I've really been putting it off. I've been putting it off about uh, my eating disorder. Um, I've talked about me struggling with bulimia before, like in my 20s. Well, I, I struggled with it. I, I had some struggles in like May, June of this year, and I haven't talked about it. Um, so I want to talk about it. I want to talk about what my recent experience was, um, the health scare that came along with it. And I'm also going to answer some questions, too. I got some questions from my, my people over at Patreon. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to address that. I'm going to include a link up here if you want to watch that video and just kind of, you know, hear me, you know, speak to something. That's that's pretty serious. Believe me, it's pretty serious. Um, so, yeah, let me let me just whip this. Uh, let me whip this um, this bacon and this breakfast sandwich up real quick.
All right, T, so the food is taken care of, and now it's time for me to do my skincare routine. And I did things out of order. I think when I started the video, I said that I was going to do my skin first and then go cook. Um, but then plans just kind of changed once I kept on working at my computer, getting stuff done. And then I realized I was going to do a video. I like to try and do uh, my skincare routine right before a video. So I'm going to show you the products that I'm going to be using. Um, yeah, it looks way different than what I've been using for the last couple of months. And I really like how um, these products, this combination has been making my skin feel. So let me show you that real quick and then I will get to it. These are the products that I'll be using on my face. Um, I use a total of six things and I use them the way that you see them is the order in which I use them on my skin. So I'm going to go through each one of them. Um, some of these products I've used in the past and just combine them with a couple other things that I just recently started using. So I'm going to say I've been using this combination for the last week or so. And so far, great. My skin feels amazing. Um, so this is the cleanser. It's Crosscut Men's Supply Oil Control Face Cleanser, Tea Tree and Charcoal love 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 this on my face um i usually well in the past couple months i've been using a shea moisture toner um but i was all out and then i realized we have some witch hazel so this is my first time using witch hazel as a toner and so far i'm loving it uh the third step in the process is this face mist alcohol free this is pretty brand new a brand new product um, that i just started using and so far so good now this is a i've been using butter i think i bought butter for the first time like two years ago um, and I stopped using, I don't know why I stopped using it, but it was really, it was a great product. Um, but I was just having like some adult acne issues that I had to get through. It wasn't the product. It was like me changing my diet. So I'm back to these butter products. I have the vitamin C serum. Um, and then I also have another product I'll show in a second. So after I use the vitamin C serum, this is all faithful, been using this. So the skincare routine and products I was using before these, um, I was using this Haitian Moringa oil, so I'm still using that. So that's the fifth step in the process. And then once I put the oil on, it's an, another butter product. It's some uh, facial shea butter. So these are the six things that I've been using um, that have my skin feeling right. It feels so smooth, so good. It feels very healthy. Um, like I'm not irritated at all. I don't feel any inflammation in my skin. Um, so yeah, so let's go through the whole process. That is my skincare routine. Again, I've been using this combination of products for like a week. So I'm going to continue to use it. Like I said, it has my skin feeling great. Um, and also I wanted to add, you know, I've shared my skincare routine a couple different times. So I wanted to say this and just save somebody the time because I get people telling me things in the comments, right? So every time you see maybe a dropper or if you see me touching my skin, everything is clean and sanitized. I just wanted to say that because people will say, well, you contaminating this and you should be doing that. All of my stuff is clean. Every time you saw me touch my skin, my hands were clean as well. So I just wanted to say that real quick because I know somebody is probably thinking it. Um, so I'm about to just get dressed real quick. I need to fix this ponytail because this ain't it. And then um, get ready to shoot my video. 
Okay, it is about that time to film, and I decided to film in the car instead of the house. Um, I don't have a whole lot of food. All I have is a breakfast sandwich with nothing on the side. All I have is water, like no sides though. Um, so since it's very little food, I feel like the car gives this more of like a on the go feel, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, and I'm just parked in front of my house in the driveway. I didn't actually go anywhere. Um, but again, it just makes more sense to just have something handheld and something that I'm going to probably eat fairly quickly, um, to just shoot it in the car. So, oh, let me show you this. So I'm going to be talking about, uh, my eating disorder and, or my struggles with it. And here are my talking points. So I got that ready to go as well. I want to make sure I address everything. And I had a couple of questions to um, answer as well. So I'm about to get to it. I'm really glad that I'm getting this video done because I have been definitely putting this off for a while. Like, like since I'm going to say at least August, September, around that time, I've been thinking about like putting out this video and sharing. Um, but I guess, you know, everything does come together when it's supposed to at the right time. So let's get to it let's record all right so i just finished recording my video um i need to do a couple of things on my computer real quick and then it'll be time to go get the honey baked ham um because i made a reservation online and i didn't have to come at a specific time i just have to come like some point during the business hours so i'm gonna go get the honey baked ham in a minute but um i just finished recording and you know what i feel really proud of myself I do. I feel really proud of myself for number one, acknowledging that I had a problem um, in terms of, you know, me struggling with my eating disorder. Number one, I had a problem. Number two, I went and got help. Um, and number three, you know, I'm just in a place where I was able to share. And all I can hope is that it helps somebody else that's struggling because I know how hard it is. Like you feel like you're the only person in the world experiencing or struggling with something. I don't know why it feels like that, but just it does. And I have felt that way that way before. Um, so I really hope that it can help somebody. And if somebody is struggling with anything, um, that you just go get the help that you need. You know, acknowledge you have a problem. And then number two, go and get the help that you need. Um, just so you can have a good quality of life. You know, I, I really do believe that we, we all deserve that. And, you know, we got to realize the role that we play in not having that, you know. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm really proud of myself, though. I am. I'm very proud of myself for recording that video. And uh, I'm going to edit later on. Y'all, I got so much stuff to do tonight. I need to edit that video to put it out because it's coming out. Um, I'm filming on a Tuesday. I want it to come out Wednesday. And also, I need to wash my hair tonight, too, which is a whole thing within itself. So it's going to be a nice full day. It is. It's already what, almost 3 o'clock now. So I'm probably going to leave here in like 15 minutes to go get the ham and then go to the store and stuff. So anyways, I just wanted to say that real quick. All right, y'all, so we just made it to Honey Baked Ham. Of course, the line is around the corner. I'm glad my mama with me because ain't no parking. So she about to take the car and I don't know, do something while I go stand in this long ass line. Right, y'all so uh we waited about what 20 minutes, 20 minutes yeah. it really wasn't that bad mom ended up finding parking because she's a lucky charm so she found parking um it's really interesting because i made a reservation online i got it i made a reservation online i think the biggest ham that was available online was like nine or ten pounds but the nine or ten pounds really ain't that big you know it don't look that big in person so I got uh like a nine pound, a nine pound. How much was the other one, Mom? This was a, oh, that one is the nine pound one. I had to end up getting a smaller one too on the side because, let me find out y'all. Oh, this is like a four pound. Oh, okay. So we got 
what's that 13 pounds 13 total so that's better than just having an eight or nine pound because i feel like we need more than that but this is what's interesting so like i said i made a reservation online and i thought the reservation meant something but it don't mean nothing <laughs> they're not checking the reservation they didn't save me a ham nothing <laughs> they just handing them out <laughs> so yeah and this girl we were coming out oh say hi mom hey gp fam what's what is up? <laughs> so um this girl we were leaving out she was like um is this is this live for everything because it's long it's wrapped around the building and she was i was like yes yeah, for everything she was like reservations too i'm like girl they reservations and they ain't checking the reservation so i don't know i mean at some point they're gonna run out of inventory i feel like right i just I don't think they're gonna run out you don't think so no no i never heard i mean i guess they they're prepared for the rush yeah plus you know they still got tomorrow to go yeah i've never have you eaten anything else at honey bacon like they sides or anything i, I had, know they had pies and all that I've stuff i got the turkey they had like a turkey was it good meal. it was okay it was okay oh okay Oh, because you can come and like get an individual combo, huh? Mm -hmm. I ain't see. I, I never had to, that. When I used to work in, uh, when you worked at in San Bernardino, oh, uh -huh. I used to go there for if, if I didn't have nowhere to go, I would go to there. I did not know it. you went to Honey Bacon for lunch. I, 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 I just, I mean, I guess I don't, you don't think about it unless it's next to you or something. But anyway, y'all, we secured the ham. <laughs> I'm so happy because I'm like, look, that's all y'all. I told y'all in the, today's the video I did. Uh, when I had the salad, I'm like, I didn't cook. All I got is ham. So that's all I volunteered for. That's all I had for Steph and Tasha's house. So I was thinking of a backup plan because I'm like, shit, they might run out. You know, so it wasn't no backup plan. You I know. Mean, well, you see the lines as long as they are. You would think that they probably would. And run. then not to mention it's 5 o'clock right now. So they've been handing hams out like, the, or not hams, but food out all day since 10 o'clock this morning. So They're trying to appease people with their little potato salad. Yeah, that potato salad didn't look good. It looked like, it it like it's been sitting out. Yeah. It like it's been sitting out. Anyways, y'all, now I'm about to go to the store, pick up a couple of things, and then it's back to the crib. All right, y'all, so look, the store was a very wild place, so I didn't record while I was in there. I had to hurry up and get in get out because everybody is being a savage. Like, it was like almost two fights when I was in there right now. No bullshit. They was fighting over the bathroom. Another, somebody else was fighting about cheese. I'm like, girl, let me hurry up and get up out of here and go home. So I got the stuff that I needed to get. Pretty much just got us some snacks um, for our stay in the hotel. Um, got some water and got, you know, um, some wine for the hotel. And then got some wine and some bourbon to take to Steph and Tasha's house. And the snacks that I got, I got a lot of um, high protein snacks because my honey is on a wellness journey right now and she needs to have, she's like, she's eating a lot of protein, so. I made sure she got some protein snacks and that's it. So I need to go home and as soon as I get home, the first thing I gotta do is wash my hair. That's the first thing I gotta do as soon as I walk in the door and I'm not happy about it, but it gotta get done. Like I can't, I, I just wanna wear my hair out. Like I don't wanna wear a ponytail, so I gotta wash it. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. Alright y'all, so I'm back at the house. I'm settled in. Finally about to wash my hair. Um, I wanted to show you the products that I'll be using. The, the shampoo and conditioner. I got that part figured out. Um, I've been on Garnier Heavy. Like that's what I've been using for like, I don't know, most of this year. Uh, but I'm going to try something different today. And actually I've used part of this product before. But what conditioner did I use? A anyway, um, the company is called Curls. And this is the CMOS Collection. This is the Powerhouse Powerhouse Sea Moss Cleanser. So that's what I'm using as my shampoo. I love on the bottle it says it's a natural detox and purifying shampoo that promotes scalp health. Um, it draws out toxins and free radicals. These toxins would otherwise cause damage and build up on the scalp, which prevents the, go the growth of healthy hair. And I want my hair to be healthy. So and I've actually used this one time before I used it once. And as you can see, I didn't use a lot of it. So this is all I had to use and my hair was squeaky clean. So I remember really liking the shampoo, but I've only used it once. And I did not use the conditioner. I have two of these. I have two of these. I haven't even used it yet. I don't know how that happened, but this is the 92 mineral grow, glow and grow conditioner. So I'll be using this to accompany the shampoo. Um, and I think I'm gonna use their leave-in conditioner as well. So but I'm just focused on the wash, y'all. I'm trying to get this damn wash out the way and then I can figure everything else out. But I, I do love this collection. I use their slime and I use their um, 
their mousse. They have a really good mousse too. So anyways, y'all, let me get this over and done with. But I'm going to leave y'all here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this vlog, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, I will meet y'all in the comments. And make the best of the day, y'all. Be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go.